I'm just going to go over here guys because there's some people on the field like chatting to each other, like four people 
And one of them's got a dog like Charlie's. You know that guy that came up to me on the field. It looks like Charlie's dog. Speaking to a guy that's much younger than, well, not much younger than Charlie, but he's younger. And that guy is supposed to be moving to France. So, let this guy come off the field. There's a man with, with dark glasses. Let's just go over here. back a bit, let them come off the field. I know some people find it funny, but it's not funny when you experience bullying and harassment. It's not funny. It's far from funny. Let's get over here quickly. There's some pavement left. <laughs> Not much, but there's some pavement. Our people manipulating control. With the word dog and sick and stay and I don't belong to anybody <laughs> see that dog looks like Charlie's dog <laughs> and I told that guy like to go away so he's moving to France <laughs> I think I've proved I'm not a fella. <laughs> so my next door neighbours walked underneath my balcony the time I usually walk Max they were walking back together he had a baseball cap on <laughs> yeah he asked me my son came to visit me once and he asked me is that your son <laughs> but and all the time I've been in those flats. Um, I really don't talk to anybody very much because that's what I was advised not to do when I moved in. It causes arguments and stuff. I'm just amazed how people find cruelty and, and Mickey taking funny and they wouldn't if it happened to them that's the thing <laughs> but um, I stand alone they all gang up together I stand by myself and uh, I'm talking to a guy that's younger than Charlie he looks after himself better than Charlie he looks better than Charlie, so there you go.
And so far, the guy doesn't, he's not lied to me. Not as far as I can see. Charlie did, didn't he? Told a load of lies. I've got to sort my phone out because then I can pick up um, the internet again. Just run out. <laughs> Keep him on the lead in case there's a jogger that comes jogging. Got me Capri Sun this evening. Black current. Yep. So that was gushing out water this morning, that boat, the bow trader over there. Well, there won't be much interaction tomorrow because um, Sean's got to go to work. He's working tomorrow. You know, I, this is when you wish you do have somebody when it gets wet outside and you can take turns for someone to walk the dog. <laughs> I haven't been part of a couple for ages. When um, someone texted me and um, was asking questions and he had massive long hair right down to his back. I don't know whether someone had stolen his photograph or it was him. <laughs> had massive blonde hair right down his back. <laughs> and he, he, said, um, he said something. He, he clicked on a link, I clicked on, on a link on Facebook and it took me to a Terry. Terry? Who the fuck is Terry? Someone in a white t-shirt walking behind me. Pretty much like this afternoon.
anyway guys you know what it's done for it's to stop me meeting someone and find finding happiness <laughs> making me feel horrible about myself <laughs> pretty much what happened to me at school but it was women that obviously I went to an all girls school and it was females that bullied me to fuck And yeah, I am lucky. My hair is thick. I've got loads of it. And do you know why? I look after it. I look after my hair. It might not be right down my back. That's because it curls up. It's very curly and it's naturally curly. So it, when I wash it, it's really, really thick. And one of my sons takes after me because his hair is thick and, well two of them do actually take after me they've got my hair it's really really thick and wavy and it's something you should be proud of when other people take the piss out of it it's just jealousy because they used to do that to me at school oh your hair's horrible but because they didn't they didn't have my hair So my hair is horrible because their hair is short and they can't grow it. Great. It's not my fault, is it? But that's what bullies do, guys. If you've got something they're jealous of, they'll fucking bully you to fuck. So right, I've got to walk fast, there's a guy behind me. It's been quite busy since I've been talking to Sean. I can't walk fast, I'll stop. Let the guy go past. The thing is, you don't have to be beautiful, but if you look after your skin and your hair, It helps. Right, he's got a white t-shirt on and a pair of black shorts. And there's another bloke coming the other way. So what we're going to do... He's going to pick Max up and we're going to get wet fucking trainers and socks. That's what we're going to get. That is a plane. It's usually a helicopter, but that is a plane. So we're going to go up this way. Let's let these guys go. I've never been to Wales 
um, not the part where Sean lives. I've been to Cardiff, to the castle, Cardiff Castle. But personally, me has never been to to Wales or New, Newport part of Wales. I've never been there. It does look nice, I must admit. It looks lovely. Now I've got to get wet up to my fucking kneecap. <laughs> Beep. There's a woman. So it's pretty, pretty, there's people on here. There's people about. Not on me, own. Well, if anyone tries, I mean, there's a man walking around on his own, an older man. There's a blonde woman with her hair tied up. And there's a guy dressed in a white t-shirt and black shorts. And as you can see, the sun is going down, I think. Maybe starting to... There's the castle a bit closer. I'm a single white female and I'm heterosexual, which means I'm sleep with blokes. Because I'm a female. last relationship I had was almost eight years ago. <laughs> almost. I've been stuck in that fucking flat, bored out of my head on my own. <laughs> Just going up to visit my mother. Especially since my dad passed away in 2021. And I don't know how she'll take it if uh, Sean and me uh, may get together. I don't know how she's going to take it. <laughs> uh, because my son's been round there and she's lost her temper. And tried to split me and my son up. So I don't know if she's going to take me with somebody else. <laughs> My son said, by the way, my son said he feels sorry for her because she's got a mental health illness. He just can't bear being in there. <laughs> but he's not, doesn't harbour any grudges or anything. He just doesn't like being in there because of her mental health state. He can't deal with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I must be the person, apart from my dad, that has stayed with my mum the longest in that flat and come out completely normal. But I've learnt one thing, bad childhoods, bad parenting causes a lot of children to grow up uh, peculiar with weird habits and dangerous uh, 
dangerous addictions. I'll see you later.